Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenario 1 Copy data from Azure Blob Storage to Azure Data Lake Gen 2 using Azure Data Factory. So this is our architecture of the copy activity. So we need to require a source and uh, we require a sync. And under the source, we need to create a blob storage. So this is the from where we are copying data from source to sync. Our sync is nothing but here data Azure Data Lake Gen 2. So this, this is my source file. So this is my source file. So I need to copy under Azure Data Lake Gen 2. So to perform this copy activity from source to destination, here we are using Azure Data Factory. So to copy the data from source to sync, so we require two data sets under the ADF. So this is the source data sets and this is my sync data sets and we require two linked services one linked services is a connection between the azure blob storage to source data set and the second one is a linked service between a data set sync data set to azure gen tool storage and we perform this copy activity under the pipeline so next go for the demo So now I'm going to the Azure portal and just already I have logged in. So I have account. So I have logged into the Azure portal. So the so we need first one is Azure Blob Storage. So that's the reason I'm going to and entering storage accounts. So under the storage accounts, so I'm going to create plus and create the new account. So I have already a resource group that's the reason i'm using the same if you want to use you can create a new and you can click on ok type here and click on ok and here she has to give the storage name and the storage name should be unique from all the portals or all the people so i'm giving here a demo storage account one two three four so the name is already taken that's the reason I'm, I'm trying to change the name so actually it's taken by someone else so we need to mention always a, some specific name and here we need to choose the region so whatever the region is near to you you can choose that so for me I'm, I'm using choosing here central india so because it is easy for me now click on review and create So once the validation is has passed here, so we have to click on create. Now see our deployment is in under process or progress. So we need to wait till this deployment is completed. So see our deploy see you can see here your deployment is completed. We can go to the resource. So after that we have to click on here under the storage we have to click on containers. The container which one is the holds the data. So I'm clicking on a create container and we have to give the container name here. So I am giving here demo container so this is my container name and creating on just click on create so this is my container if you want you can add some folders also here so let me upload a file so just click on the upload and select the file from here whichever the file you want to upload you can choose from here So suppose let me take the population by age dot tsv dot gz. So whatever the file you want, you can take it and click on. So
suppose under the advanced you can go and you can upload a folder also if you want you can create here population so click on upload see uploaded content for the population so this is the file is saying that uploaded say this is say this is our file which is uploaded so where i am have actually i am under the storage account under the container so i have uploaded a file so by this i completed the source set now i need to go for create one sync purpose one more data lake gen to storage so the process remains the same only that there will be a small change the we, we need to go to home and under the storage account again we need to create so give the same thing here what are the subscription and what is your resource group and here also we need to give the storage account name so i am giving here demo adls demo adls sync storage so what are the name you required you can give there is no problem and i am just choosing the region to my central india next i'm clear see there will be a small difference between the uh, blob storage and uh, gen2 storage that will be available under the advanced tab so there will be an option data lake gen2 the date so for this if you want to create a data gen, gen lake2 storage we has to enable Oh, hierarchical namespace so if you create on if you click on the hierarchical namespace so it will become oh, gen2 storage now preview and create see validation has passed sony has to create on create create So this saying that the deployment is in process. So if you come to the uh, again to the process, so we have completed the source and we have completed with sync. Now we need to create an ADF Azure Data Factory to perform the copy activity. So we got the source, and under the source, just let me. Uh, create one a, a container so let me give as adls container or sync container we can also say that any name you can give that sync container so just I created one container here so now we fulfilled completed with sync and source now we need to create an azure data factory so it has to search here azure data factory or we can search only data factories so there will be an option data factories click on data factories and click on create new data factory so the process most of the process remains the same so let me choose my resource group and here i am giving this demo or name of the instance instance is nothing but the data factory name so demo data factory and let me choose see it already is taking so just me give me some number here And we are to choose the region. So let me choose my nearest region is this is one. And uh, under the Git configuration, so we I'm not going to uh, perform any Git thing now. So let me click. So configure Git later. And uh, review and create. Now we have to click on create. So we need to wait one or two minutes to complete the or to complete the deployment. So the deployment has completed. 
now i'm going to the my data factory so this is my azure data factory which i created so to perform some activities so you have to click on here open azure data factory studio so we need to click on this then we'll go to the next tab see this is my azure portal and uh, this is my data factory workspace so there are some buttons here the first one is home the second one is author the third one is monitor and the fourth one is manage now let me go to our powerpoint one so we are completed with the source and we are completed with sync now we require two data sets one is source data sets and other is sync data sets so let me complete first two data sets or and we require two linked services one is linked services connection between the azure storage and the source data sets and the second one is azure data link gen 2 to sync data sets so require two linked services so so we need to complete totally four things now now to to create linked services we have to go under click on manage tab if you click on manage tab so we need to click on say there will be option is linked services we have to click on the new so for i am see here i am doing this first creating this linked services between the azure blob storage to source data sets so this is a blob storage of linked service so let's search here blob so then you can see azure blob storage click on continue and give her name so as it is a linked services i'm giving as a prefix as ls blob storage and choose the runtime the same thing and authentication you can take the same thing and you have to click here azure subscription as whatever the subscription you have you can choose that next the storage account we need to give so our storage account is see demo storage account 2939 so this is my storage account and now you have to click on create so see one linked service has created so the name of the linked service is azure blob storage and the type of or uh, linked service is azure blob storage so we have completed first one now we need to create one more linked service for sync data sets so the sync is ours gen 2 so search on gen 2 so azure data lake gen 2 click on continue so so as this is a linked service i'm just clicking as linked service so it is easy to understand me for as is a linked service the same thing so nothing difference and we have to give here see we, uh, as is the uh, gen 2 see as is a gen 2 here so we have to give here gen 2 only so our storage account is azure uh, so we need to search covid oh see this is demo adls link storage so this is my storage account and click on create so now we have completed two linked services now we need to create two data sets one is source data sets and one is sync data sets again i'm going to azure data factory and under the see other tab i'm clicking on data sets so i'm clicking on the new data sets and the first data set is a blob storage so click on blob storage and click on the file is delimited file why because my file is comma separated that's the reason i'm giving here delimited file click on delimited file click on continue and here we have to give the name of data sets so ds data sets dot source data set and we have to give here linked services as the first one is a sync is our blob storage so we'll get the same storage link service here and we choose we need to choose the file so demo storage population and this is the file which i have already saved or uploaded in my blob storage i know that there will be a first as a header 
and I'm just I'm not going to copy any schema so I'm just saying as none so I have completed my source data sets now I required one more data set which is sync data set again click on data sets and here the sync data set is nothing but gen2 so azure data like gen2 so click on create and delimited file click on next and here i am saying as data set so sync sorry sync data set click on azure next choose the path we are going to save in this so we are going to the sync container so there we are going to create one folder and i know that there will be so let me give that a folder inside it raw and the name of the file will be population by age dot tsv and so i'm not going to copy any schema now create on create so we are completed so let me go to the creature once we are completed source everything we are completed the sync and we are completed to all uh, linked services and we are completed to data sets so no now we required a pipeline to perform a copy activity so now i'm going to create on a click on create new pipeline give the name of the pipeline so pl pl is nothing but pipeline copy copy from blob to gen2 so this is my and uh, so there are some activities so simply we have to go and search copy activity so this is copy data so from blob to gen2 so this is the name of my activity so we re we require to give the two things one is the source and the source data sets what is my source data set so this is my source data sets and the next one is sync so sync data set we need to perform sync so we have finished all the things so we need to check if there is any error so click on validate so your pipeline has validated now click on debug If you see here, so the debug has debug has started and the status is queued. So we need to wait for one or two minutes to perform this debugging process. See how now our status is status is success. So we can see here. If you click on your I symbol, so we'll get the details. So this is our source and this is our destination the source is blob storage and the destination is data lake gen 2 and so here are all the things we can see so from where to where uh, the copy of performance is completed now let me go to azure portal and see whether it's really happened or not so let me go to the storage account and click on my adls storage account so there will be a adls sync storage this is my storage name so let me click on container and this is my container name and this is my folder name so we can say there's a population by age the file has copied so by this we are successfully completed our operation or completed our 